G'day folks, Daz here from Into the Mountains and uh, we're looking at the altitude. The altitude is back from Benchmade and uh, it's in a revamped uh, version. So uh, if you follow my channel a few years ago, I did uh, a review on this uh, little lightweight gem and I, I use it all the time. It's always in my bino rig as my, both my backup blade and my go-to knife for face caping. And um, it's been a real workhorse for me. Um, it's got a lot of scars on it now. As you can see there in the close-up, Cerakote's uh, taking a little bit of a hit, but standing up really, really well. Um, I've got a tiny little chip in the bottom of the blade there, which I've got to uh, sharpen out. But yeah, the S90's held up really well. The edge retention is phenomenal. And in 2023, uh, they've relaunched it. So a few little differences I'll go through with the newer model. They did discontinue this one, which was a bit unfortunate. I thought, oh no, it's such a great blade. And, uh, lots of people are always coming in and asking me about it, so uh, I'm really glad that Benchmade have uh, listened to the, uh, the fans out there and have uh, re revamped it and re-released it, so uh, let's have a look at it. So just to get started, we'll have a little close-up side-by-side -side for you there. Um, for full disclosure, I've got the new one out on loan to me. I own this one, I've been using it, but um, they're very similar, and the gripes that I've got with this, they have fixed in this one. So. Uh, probably won't, uh, unless something happens, I'll lose this or kill it. I probably won't upgrade just yet, but uh, I was, if I was buying new, I'd absolutely take this one over the, the original, that's for sure. So give you a little close up there. The blade profile type Cerakote layout is virtually identical. There's just some subtle differences that we'll go through together. Not too subtle, I should say, is obviously the, uh, the bigger grasp, which was the pet gripe that everyone had is that this, um, this was really good in that kind of pincer um, uh, hole that you've got here if you're working up on the blade and you've got that between your, your forefinger and your thumb. It was great like that. You still get that with the, the new style uh, grip or the new style scales, but when you move back into this hand position, um, this was quite lacking in the original. So now it's feeling a bit more like the flyaway got a lot more purchase in there it is a lot more comfortable to grab so that's a it's a big step up in regards to uh, grip and dexterity that's for sure let's have a quick look uh, at the sheaths that are on offer so in the original one we had the uh, the camo variant there uh, you know bolts lashing points and the little venting port down in the bottom um, with this one we've got the bolts are on uh, orange with black on the reverse um, but it is the same layout, so you've got the same little vented port at the bottom, exactly the same um, sheath from, from what I can see here. Just have a feel of this lock up in the sheath, so if you are carrying it as a, a neck knife or a, a mounted onto your belt, I've had no problems with mine and it does snap in, it feels exactly the same as mine. It's a nice positive lock up in there for sure. All right, so we'll look at uh, weight because, I mean, the big thing with this one, it's all meant to be lightweight and um, even though they've added on that big grip, we're still under 60 grams, coming in at around 55 grams, so still super light, uh, very slim profile, doesn't take up much real estate in either your bino rig or mounted or in a bag, so that's, that's the kind of main aim of the game with, with the altitude. So let's run through some of the specs on this guy. So overall length, 187.5 millimeters. We're going to talk metric, sorry uh, American viewers, but uh, there's already lots of reviews for you guys, so let's keep it metric on this one. Um, blade length uh, by itself, 78.2. We've got the blade thickness coming in at only 2.286, so just shy of three millimeters there. And you can see it on that uh, other side there. We're using the um, same steel as the previous one, the CPM S90V. Uh, with obviously the orange Cerakote over the top. Um, Rockwell hardness, you're getting the kind of between 59 to 61 on this guy. Um, obviously carbon fiber in here, and um, these uh, sheaths are bolter on, so similar to kind of the Kydex, really rigid, hard wearing. Uh, you're not gonna get any grief from bolter on, it's a great product. Yeah, so that's the Benchmade Altitude. It's a little gem. This has been an absolute workhorse for me. It's been on many adventure. It's always with me. Um, yeah, can't speak highly enough of that guy. And, uh, and I think this is even a step up again. So yeah, get into a uh, authorized Benchmade distributor and check it out for yourself. It's an absolute little gem. Take care, guys. See you on the next one.